I'm going to unfold a fantastic adventure in my playthrough of Paper Mario. Thank you for watching me reminisce my childhood. Have a great day and enjoy. Okay, so now what I did was I disabled the button from activating the Wii U menu. So it's typically ZR. It does nothing. It literally does nothing. Now it's impossible for me to press the button. I'm excited. My name is Brian Saviano, AKA Bricks O'Brien, and we're going through to chapter number Trace uh, in Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. Uh, oh boy, get excited everyone. We're getting out of this desert. We're gonna find Colorado. No, not the state with all the mountains and stuff. We're just gonna find the dude, the Koopa, and take it from there. And hopefully find more of those upgrades because now that I know the true power of the upgrades I really want to try to find as many as I can and just so you know for full context ladies and gentlemen uh, You may be curious. Hey, Brian. Uh, are you recording all these in a day? Yes, I am uh, feel free to send out to me Dunkin Donuts gift cards because I I am needing all the iced coffee I'm gonna need for the next uh, three years with uh, all the videos I'm doing and into the holiday season. So yeah, cool. How very sad I say Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand, it looks like, it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to the dry, dry ruins? Mario, oh chum, I beg of you, could you please possibly part with that? Well, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm not going to sell it on Amazon. Ah, uh, smashing really, old boy. Soon, now the mysterious dry, dry ruins will rise from the sands to, that conceal them. Well... Yeah, they did. Uh, so here's a gift. It's a star piece. Cool. So I'm assuming uh, that was also one of those other objectives that you were supposed to do that uh, you could get as an objective at the end of the game or like, you know, later in the game, I should say. So, yeah, we kind of went ahead of the curb there maybe a little bit. So that's good. Uh, I ended up eating the rest of my uh, barbecue chicken pizza that I had, which is a, a lot of pizza, admittedly. And then I went to Dunkin' Donuts to get myself the iced coffee, and I got a donut because I hate myself. I got a, a, a not a, a Cane's donut, a crispy, oh, wait, uh, Boston cream donut. Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Oh, boy. Hey, sir. Let me look at this here piece of paper. What do you got? Hey, you're very similar. You look like this fella who's wanted on Bowser's poster. Now give, what's your name? So, I'm going to challenge him, because I don't know how difficult he is, but I'm going to tell him that I'm Mario. Mario, well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I've got to bust you up. Quite the tempting offer you have for me, sir. Uh, maybe he will provide the level up that I need uh, to finish off. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to go for the shell shots and everything here and hopefully defeat this guy with uh, flying colors here. So I'm going to keep tapping A to reduce the damage and I only got to two. Okay, so, oh, Perry Kari's down. Great, awesome. Okay, I'm going to go for this here. Uh, I didn't know that was actually a thing that you could prevent how much damage is inflicted on you. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to run away. There we go. Nice. He's not going to drop me from those heights today. That's good. I didn't know of any other boss battle you could actually avoid some of the attacks here. That's uh, very interesting. Okay, well, that one I couldn't avoid, or I could have dodged at least. All right, so I don't know how much health he has either. Uh, again, we're not going for all the tattles here because we don't necessarily need to. There's no other uh, reason to do so. I'm going to keep tapping here, and hopefully it'll make a difference here. And I got taken away. Awesome. And dropped on my head. Great. Awesome. It's like I'm a year old again. All right. And, ooh, it's going to do more attack damage. Yeah. Get hyped. All right, cool. And shabooby. There we go. Six damage. I didn't actually land the perfect shot there, so that's a bit disappointing. But uh, I'm assuming he's close to being done anyways. Ooh, that was a feather. That was a sharp feather. Okay, I'm out. Uh, let's see. I don't think the, um, the star ability to put him to sleep is going to work, so... I'm going to bank on just destroying him a little bit more here. Maybe this turn or the next turn actually be done with it. I don't know. Um, there we go. Nice. 
So he gives us uh, 15 star points there. So quite a good amount there. Uh, not too much damage he did to me. Yeah, I got whooped. And goodbye. So no other items from him. But now he won't be looming over you in that upper part there. So maybe every time you uh, load up into this area and try to cross the bridge, he will uh, try to fight you. So at least he's uh, consistent with his... Uh, unfamiliarity with you you know he he tries to make sure he remembers you but he doesn't so hey at least there's that i guess that didn't really make any sense but you know what i mean not really uh i haven't had enough iced coffee yet so i need to keep going so okay uh just about out of here in just a few more seconds uh at least i think I, that's the way i need to get out of here you know i don't think there's any other faster way for me to go not quite yet Eventually, there's going to be means for you to unlock um, warp pipes to get out of here and get to areas you've been to a bit easier. I'm going to do this because why not, right? Just to get my health and FP all the way back up as much as possible. Ooh, we can go into here now. Cool. What's this? What's this? Ooh, one of these. I'll take one of those. I will upgrade Parikari. And now, Goombario is the only one that remains. So, if we encounter another one of these... And we don't have a new partner that I'm obligated to upgrade uh, Goombario. So, hey, at least we got that. And it, I feel like now I'm not slacking behind. I thought I might have been with missing a couple of those. But maybe, just maybe, now I'm not. But we'll see. So I'm going to make my way back to Toad Town here. Might as well save just for the heck of it. You never know. Uh, the power might go out and destroy my save files. But I'm so excited now that I disabled that ZR button from triggering that Wii U menu. It totally, like, took you out of the game, and it took me not quite halfway through the game, but, like, three or four hours into the game to actually figure it out. So, hey, at least there's that. And in case you are curious... Oh, so this has a, uh, a sip and win and peel on here. Uh, am I going to win a million dollars on camera right now? Let's see. Uh, survey says... Uh, no, but if it says I'm feeling lucky, I can enter in this random string of digits and hopefully win a, a bajillion dollars in Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. So, uh, there is ways for you to send fan mail if you wanted to. Be feel free to send me as many Dunkin' Donuts gift cards as you want to. The more that you send me, the more videos come out between now and the end of the year. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you, if you want to send over a ton of these, uh, I get the iced coffee with almond milk and three sugars. That's how I take my coffee. So, uh, feel free to do so. You are by no means obligated to. But, uh, yeah. I, oh, I, I always say, when anyone ever sends me anything, do not send me things. Send me letters, pictures, and drawings. Uh, never send me things. So, I've had people send me, like, a, uh, I've had someone send me a pop socket with my avatar on it. I've had a bunch of stuff. So, don't send things. Just send... Uh, letters, pictures, in drawings, or Dunkin' Donuts gift cards, and that is one of a flower. That's adorable. Oh, it's a flower, Liloink. Nice floral design. I still, I think they're just for show. I think they're just for, you know, the sake of being cute there, so that's totally fine. And I believe this is the, uh, the extent of this area down here. Yeah, there's no other means for you to actually, uh, do something down here. So, uh, in case you were curious about, uh, you know, something to do around here. I don't think there's anything left. Star piece there. No, it's a warp pipe. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just go down here and see what mysteries lie in store. Oh, hi. Uh, is this where you gamble? Is this that secret gambling place? Welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you play depends on what kind of member credit you have. Uh, I have a score, a FICO score of like 400. That gets me good credit, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Not at all. I went a little today. Good luck, Mario. What do you mean? Can I have a card? How do I get a card? What do I need to do? Sir? I Okay, I guess I can't get member credit right now. So, whatever. Alright. I'll uh, try for member credit later. Whenever that's actually going to happen. I don't, I don't really know. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Oh, hi. Puff. Well, hello there. My name is Bulb Ulb. I came from the flower fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I love to spread my wondrous flowers fields all over the, your land. You look like flowers, don't... Okay, cool. So we got another magical seed. Uh, so whenever we find the flower field, which I think is way down the line in the game, uh, we can actually plant that. And I don't know what happens, but we, we were able to plant it. So that's good. Oh, that's Mr. Zest T. He cooks up some food for you. 
but uh, we're not going to do that right at this moment. That's locked. Yes, it is. I know what that ends up being in just a minute here, but actually not in just a minute. In a little while, I should say. So, uh, I... Deborah. Oh, no. It's a ghost. Burger, just go. A ghost passed right in front of me. I did not hang the Halloween decorations. I forgot. I'm a dummy. Uh, I, I saw the ghost. I see ghosts. That was scary. Uh-oh, over there. It's, it's, oh, okay. I guess Mario doesn't see something. Uh-oh, the other way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, uh, the ghost walks, or floats off like, I do say. I do say. Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go to the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened. Oh, well, if you insist, Mr. Toad, I will go and do your job. Uh, just as the Patriots did in the Super Bowl many a times before and will many a times going forward because that's what the Patriots do because they're great. Hello, pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? Do you know? Do you know? Do, do, wow. How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call us on at the mansion on the far side of the Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the star spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. Well, and if you don't come, we'll get you. That's what he sounded like. All right, let's go. So uh, this is officially the beginning of chapter three, ladies and gentlemen, the invincible tubba blubba. Uh, my spirit animal, indeed. No, Tubba Blub is not my spirit animal. He's he's a bit too big. No, I'm not I'm not quite that big. No, I'm a big guy. Not not that big though. All right. So, uh, all around here is a whole bunch of uh, piranha plants and a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, you don't want to deal with these guys. You really don't. They're a massive pain here. But uh, you know, they they net a lot of XP. So I think it's uh, smart for you to challenge against them. And wow, he does six damage now. So, Parikari getting even more useful for us here. Uh, Gumbario, not as much. So, what you're aiming for here is, uh, this is basically a big circular area here where, uh, you need to go the correct way in order to advance. Uh, there is a specific means to figure out which one is which way to go. I believe it, uh, is that way, right there. So, whichever one, like, smiles and does that really creepy thing, that's the way that you go. That is a successful way to go. I believe. Hmm, what do you think you're doing here? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know? You better go back. Okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's mansion. Okay, he'll let me pass though. Listen carefully, kid. If you want to get through this forest, you gotta pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it, kid. The areas around the correct path will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot a strange glowing eye. So the exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. Well, thank you, not Yoda. I will go this way. And I will challenge all of these. Oh, the fuzzies. The fuzzies make their return. Get hyped, ladies and gentlemen. Are you just as excited as I am? Because I'm not. All right. Uh, shell shot to this guy right here. And is six going to do it? Six is going to do it. But luckily, um, ooh, I blocked it. Wow. One, two, three. There we go. Whew. I'm so good. I'm so good. I think they drain FP from you as well. So, uh, yeah, be very careful of those guys there. You don't want to mess with them. But luckily for us, we do have another level up in store here. And, ah, uh, I said I would go with badge power. Um, but FP is very useful. And we're doing not too bad right now. Health-wise, we're fine. I'm going with FP again. I know... I'm being inconsiderate. I really should go with badge power. I will go with badge power soon enough. Trust me, okay? So we're looking at the, the tree with the eyes. Some tree that has eyes at some point here. All right, this isn't too bad here. We'll just uh, smash the fuzzy. 
Okay. Um, we'll go for a shell shot. Like, it's just helpful, you know? You get through enemies and whatnot a lot quicker here. And now they're down to two for uh, netting out XP. So that's not very helpful. All right. So I believe uh, the one back here is the one I want to go for that has a lower health. Yes, indeed. And they must have a defense of one. So, uh, wait. No, I'll go for this one just because. And there we go. All right. So that was a lower XP one. My bad. And now you're going you're gonna to poop out another one. You're just going to keep pooping out children. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, keep on pooping. All right. Destroy you. You're not done yet. Okay. But at least they keep netting out more XP. So that's good. You know? Oh, wow. There that goes. Oh, and now you're going to shield me. Most likely, right? It'll decrease the damage I receive. So maybe zero? Zero. Wow. So I don't have to do anything. I don't have to counter the moves or anything like that. Beautiful. Just wait right there. All right. Luckily, they did not poop out another one. So that's good. So I could kind of do this all day, you know, just trying to get more XP out of these guys here. If I get, you know, 10 each time, that'd be pretty dope. And there we go. All right. So they gained a health there. I'm just going to do this real quick. There we go. That'll take care of them. That's another eight right there. So uh, future battles like that, I will skip. But uh, yeah, for the time being, just showing off how annoying the fuzzies are again. So... Uh, still looking around for eyes somewhere. Um, it should be on the tree somewhere. I think you need to wait a second in order to see for the uh, eyes to spawn in. But, uh, I don't know what it looks like because I forget, you know. I don't think there's any other cues or hints or anything like that. Ah, uh, you see the eyes right above there? You can very faintly see them. Can you even... Yeah, you can see it on the recording. Okay, cool. It's like a very, very, very faint red. But all right. Right above where the flowers were. So now we'll see where exactly they go. So they are turning clockwise. Not that that maybe matters. Oh, hi. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this force, you got to pick all the right paths. You choose the wrong... I know, choose the wrong paths. Yes. All right. And we can't look back at all. So, all right, so these are the unique flowers here. They are kind of turning counterclockwise. I think that's the right way to go because those are the unique flowers of those ones there. So, and if it's not, you just restart and you're fine. But you won't know until, like, if you see the sign here, that's how you know you messed up. So, that's how you know. Uh, okay. Ooh, there's another flower. Oh, hi. So now we have three of those seeds. Hey, hello there. I will, uh, I'll take that magical seed. Cool. Please plant it somewhere and take extra good care of it. So maybe every time we plant one, there's a reward or something. I don't know. But whatever. Cool. So is there only one entrance? There, No, there are multiple. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the one right there. Yeah, that's definitely the one right there with the big evil face. There you go. And what's good is when you leave here, at least you can choose whatever path you want to, you know? All right, so that one is Mushrooms. Uh, that one's mushrooms. That's a fire, or piranha plant, rather. Oh, those ones light up over there. Interesting. Do these ones light up? Yeah, they do. So that's three. Okay, there's two over here. No, three. Those ones stay on a little bit longer. F three. Or four, rather. Huh. It's this one, yeah. Definitely. It's it's like the lights in Stranger Things. Like, that's the one that you go for. <laughs> it's the one that makes the most sense, right? Did I mess up? No. Okay, so those recede. That's an enemy. I think that's the one to go for because all the other ones receded into the, back into the bushes. So, or wait. Was that the one that I entered from? It might have been. No, it wasn't. I think that was good. Maybe. Uh, is there anything special? Oh, well. I was going to say, is there anything special besides death there? But okay. If you have business at Boo's Mansion, come this way. Well, the sign explains itself. And after many challenges later and getting our star points back up to like 72, which is a pretty high number after just defeating all those fuzzies and whatnot. And I'll tell you why. 
uh, that actually ended up happening was because I had uh, so much FP to use Bombette's, uh, you know, uh, the, the bomb all ability on the field there. That's what really did them all in. That's what really, really worked. So that required six FP. So using that once to clear out four fuzzies at one time, that really worked very well. My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. It looks like Luigi's Mansion, but that won't come out for another two years, or next year. If this came out in 2001, Luigi's Mansion came out in 2002, a year from now? Wow. What a big difference graphically, dude. Nintendo's graphics really uh, up there. They, they up their game in between the two games there. So the only thing lacking right now is our... Uh, star power which is totally understandable and fine but uh, we're gonna go through the chocolate bar doors right there and go to the highest point of the mansion but first not before we go into a couple doors here and see oh see what's up at least once okay cool so um nothing to do and actually there is something to do in here so jump inside of this vase right here get a cool little uh, Super Mario Bros Easter egg sort of a deal you can be a uh, Super Mario and jump all around here so that's uh that's pretty cool in a time where there wasn't any means to play all the old retro games that came out, you know, 10 years before it, you only had uh, that opportunity to do so. And as soon as you leave this area here, it disables. So it's not like you can play the whole game like that, unfortunately. It's just uh, that little section right there. So uh, that couch cushion there uh, helps with bringing all the lights down. So there you go. Turn all the lights down. Oh, 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 hey, hey, oh. Oh. And now, that's fine. Oh! Do we need a way to stay on there? Or, like, bring weight down continuously onto there? That would make the most sense, but okay. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. So, okay, here's a boo inside of here. Uh, sir? Sir? Can I have that? I'm so bored. I know the lady boat ordered me to stay here, but for how long? How long must you stay there for it? Uh, do you want to dance? Does this work? It's a phonograph. Would you? It would be nice if there are records to play. So, uh, none of you know what that is, actually. So I will explain what this is right here. So what you do is you put a record, a big black disc that has indentations on the uh, piece of, not plastic, but like a, a disc itself. It goes onto there and a needle arm like basically slides onto it onto the disc and as the disc spins the bumps in the disc itself get translated and read by that machine and outputted into music and I realized I needed to explain that because a lot of you were born way after this game came out and have no idea what that is which makes me, I mean, even when I played this game originally, that's really old. That was old for me. So I can't even imagine for you lovely people out there. That might be even old for your parents. So, you know, maybe your grandparents would, you know, your grandparents would know what it is. But, like, your mom and dad, your aunts, your uncles probably won't know what the, <laughs> they probably did not grow up with stuff like that. So, uh, that one's a little suspicious, a little spooky. Oh, hi. Are you here to play a game? Ooh, it's a... That's called a record. You can find them at, uh, where can you find them? Around me is a place called Newberry Comics, but that's in New England. So, I don't know where you could find them. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. Okay, let's keep track here. Or do we just really guess? No? Okay. The Lady Bo, Bo, will be very angry if we let him get it too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. Okay. So, I'm going to follow this guy. And see if I can figure out where he's at. Okay, I'm following him right here. He's the one who's closest to the screen right now. Oh. Uh, he's right here. That guy. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Luckily, they pan over in time that you can still see who's on the screen right there. So that's good. Um, hey. Oh, no. Blah. I love the design of the Boo in this game. Like, compared to the regular Boo, I think these ones look a lot more stylized, and they look really great. Like, everything looks fairly similar, translated from, like, the Piranha Plants and everything else. But the Boo here, I feel, have a lot more personality than the ones that we get nowadays. So, 
Tap A to play the record. You gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. So, let's uh, boot this bad boy up. And keep it right here. Come on. That's what it is. So, the way a, uh, a phonograph also works, uh, you can increase the speed of the uh, music by increasing the rotations per minute. Uh, we can make it super slow. So, you can make it like... You know, you can really like slow it down just like uh, this right here, or you can speed it up super fast if you wanted to, like that. Um, that is actually how one works. So, if you ever go to over to your actually, your grandparents probably don't even have these anymore because they're very unrealistic to have. Uh, it's very uh, not uh, not feasible. So, now that we do that, uh, we're gonna grab whatever's inside of here, and that's a weight. Yeah, so that's what we need for the uh. The, the chandelier. Oof! Lady Bao gave me one job to guard the treasure chest. She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh well. I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use the weight. <laughs> I think it might be because they have the sharp teeth. I think that's why I like the boo a lot more. Like that and the, the really wide smile. It just looks more menacing. And the fact that their eyebrows are very pointy. Like, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole everything. Everything just looks a lot better. But, yeah, I really needed to explain what that was all about. The phonograph, yeah. Oh, I was just ripping the cup here. Trying to stir in my, uh, uh, iced coffee here. Make sure everything is all swished around in here very nicely. 